Guess what? I got sick and this is what the doctor recommended. So get your notebook ready because this one is gonna be a secret between us. Today we are making jerky. Yes, that overpriced but delicious snack you can get on any gas station. Homemade, customized, and delicious. This jerky recipe is something I've been refining for a long time, and the best results are on venison. For beef or bison, it works great, but I feel like this recipe tamed down the wild flavors of venison and make them outstanding. But first, a little bit about venison. The word venison is not only reserved for deer. Elk, caribou, moose, and many other animals from the deer family can be considered venison. It's like beef. Any meat out of a cattle is considered beef, no matter what kind of a cattle it comes from. Of course, venison jerky has been made for a long, long time. But the version of jerky as we know and recognize today comes from South America. To be more precise, Peru. Peru is the country with the most extensive cuisine in the world, surpassing France, Italy, and Mexico by a large margin. That's why it's not rare to find that many of the things we eat today have their base in that region of the planet. Your stupid thumbnail. But getting back into our venison jerky, today we are going to be playing around with this amazing elk brisket I got from the Honest Bison. I really want to give the Honest Bison all the credit for opening my mind into all these amazing meats. I can recommend the Honest Bison enough. So if you are planning to try this recipe at home or something else, like the bison brisket we cooked the other day, I'm leaving a link and a discount code in the description of the video so you can save money and enjoy this fabulous meat. As you can see, elk is one of the leanest meats out there. If we remove this silver skin, you are not gonna see a lot of marbling on the other side. There are very little specks of marbling in it, and that makes it extra special for jerky. This is one of the most important criteria for choosing meat to make jerky with, and the first one to look at. When making jerky, you can fully dehydrate the fat, meaning the leaner the cut, the better. Too much fat can cause the jerky to spoil faster. So if you want a good jerky that lasts you a long time, remember, the less fat, the better. Also, the flavors make a huge difference when making jerky. Elk natural flavors are strong, wild, and delicious, without getting to be gamey. Elk meat is priced all around the world, mainly because how tasty and healthy it is. This meat is jam-packed with tons of vitamins and minerals, meaning it's low in calories, but contains a concentrated amount of vitamins and minerals. It's low in carbohydrates and fats, but it's also high in protein, vitamin B12, zinc, and a lot of other good stuff. And now that we are more wise about elk, let's make some jerky. Most jerky starts with the marinade. The marinade is the one that strengthens the flavors of the meat, and starts the curing process. Spices and sauces can change and affect the flavors depending on what you're experimenting with. Different marinades create different flavors. That is why this one took me a long time to refine. Anyway, here is the marinade. First thing in the pot, one cup of ketchup. To that we add a quarter cup of brown sugar, followed by half a cup of cider vinegar. My secret ingredient, two tablespoons of instant coffee dissolved in one cup of hot water two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder, and a quarter tablespoon of black pepper. This whole recipe will be good for three pounds of meat, so adjust as needed. Now cut the meat into slices a quarter inch thick. Very important, make sure you always slice your jerky meat against the grain. Also, as you can see, I'm slicing the meat at an angle. That way I can get wider slices, making the jerky pieces bigger and every time I cut a slice, it goes into the pot with the marinade. After you are done, stir the pot, making sure each slice gets some of that marinade. Close the top with a plastic wrap and set them in the fridge. And tomorrow is when we get to smoke and taste it. Since I got involved with jerky, I've done it in many different ways and styles. The oven works great, as well as the dehydrator, but today we are going out loud and use the smoker. Remember, we are dehydrating this meat, not cooking it. So the smoker will be set at its minimum temperature, which is 180 degrees. I like to hang my jerky from the top shelf of the smoker. That allows the meat to be as far away from the heat as possible and also heat up more evenly. 
Once your jerk is in the smoker, close the lid and let it be for at least three hours. You know, I haven't told you guys uh, what happened like about a month, a month and a half ago, Mr. Georgie passed away and it's been a big deal for my wife. She's been crying all over the place and it's been kind of crazy. And this past Saturday, my daughter just gave me a present and uh, she brought another member out to the family. And I want to introduce him to you guys. This is Mr. Coco right here. He's a... Uh, that's Mr. Coco right there. <laughs> He's an Armenian Shepherd. He's uh, 90 pounds and skinny. He's a beautiful two years old boy. Uh, man, now now he got it with me all the time. He's everywhere I go. He's there and it's a lot of fun. And man, I love that big dog. Just wanted to give you an update on that because you know, things happen. And every time I mention Mr. Georgie, my wife will cry like a little baby. So, you know, things happen, but now we have Coco and we are pretty happy with him. After three hours, you'll see that some of the slides are already done or very close to be done. What we are looking for is for the strips to bend without break. If they bend with no effort, set them back in the smoker and allow them more time. But if they crack when you bend them, take them out right away as they might be overcooked. And after all that work, all we have left to do is to give them a taste and see how good we did. All right, Miss Ninja, here we have our creation. What is it? I want you to give it a try and tell me what do you think about it. Okay. I mean, it's, it's jerky. It's jerky? It's jerky. Hey, it's jerky. <laughs> jerky? <laughs> yeah. All right, Miss Ninja, give it a try and tell it me different. how good it is. Let's do it. Mmm. Man. I love the flavor. Intense. Ooh. I can feel it. Smoke, yeah? Not only that. It's pretty moist. It's not as dry as usually, you know, beef jerky out there. And tender. Beautiful. It is really good. It mm -hmm. tastes pretty much like barbecue jerky. I really like good. it. And this is this is just venison. This is elk. Oh, really? You know, we've done it before. You like it before. <laughs> the only difference is this is made out of elk brisket. Oh, wow. Man, that's delicious. That's really, really and good. And the colors inside are amazing. I really like it. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it a lot. Mm. Man. It is crunchy. That is good. Try it, try it. You know, what happened with these things is when you cut them manually, it's never exactly the same thickness of, of, the, of the slice. So, you know, some of them are going to be a little bit more thinner, but you, you can mm. see they crack, but they don't break. And some of them are a little bit chubbier, which I love. Softer. This one has a lot more. This one has a lot more meat inside and it's kind of creamy inside. I love this texture, mm. but I love this one too. This one is really good and it's a really good snack. There you go. I mean, you have the whole recipe. I'm putting everything down there in the description yes. too. If you ever tried venison jerky, you let me know down there in the comments. And if you haven't, just let me know down there in the comments. Now I have to ask you a question. What is it? You know that question? What? Did I make you hungry? Answer the question, guys. If we make you hungry, you have to hit us with the like. Lots of them. Subscribe to the channel, share with your friends and family, and yes, don't forget so. to share these videos on the social networks because that helps us it, a lot. Do it, do it. And more people get to know about all these amazing cooks. Salty tales. Let me know down there in the comments what do you think about the whole cook? Would you do something any different? Uh, what recipe you have? You want to share something with us? We can try it here. You let me know down there in the comments. That's all for today. But remember that I love ya. Love you too. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one, okay? Next one. Bye. Coco, Coco you want to give it a try? Coco, right? Oh, we have a new baby.